dressing up as Rudolph this year, Cheeky. No, I fell face first into a bowl of cherries. You mean my cherries? I needed those, Cheeky. I know we need to move as quick as we can, but try to be careful, guys. How's the snow going, Susie? OMG, it's a winter wonderland in here. This snow is, like, super swirly, though. That's whipped cream, Susie. So that means I've served my pie with a side of canned snow. How classy. We need help, Apple. We've got so much food to prepare before Christmas Day, not to mention everything else that needs to be done. Hey, gang, what's all the fuss? Hey, Fleur, it's the Christmas rush. Guys, I think I let this sit too long and now it's turned to mush. Sorry, Fleur, we're a little stressed. I'll say you've made a mess. From the stuffing to the pudding, the list just never ends. There is no need to stress when you've tried to do your best. All you need is good old-fashioned help from your friends. We'll cook a Christmas feast filled with all sorts of treats. A really yum selection of savories. And sweets. What's that? It's really tasty. It's custard baked in pastry. Mm, you guys have got to taste this gravy. Sarah Tlithicus. Well, we help you hang the ribbon, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. Just follow what is written. I'll take care of the chopping. While we hang up all the stacking. Just be careful in the kitchen, cause the sink has started clogging. Once we finish baking. We'll help with decorating. I spilled sauce on me. Don't forget to wear your apron. We'll be done in time for dancer. Dasher, fix and prancer. Uh, who like ate the food we left for Santa? Sorry, I feel awful. As long as you're remorseful. All this food makes me hungry. <gasps> nope, nope, that's a bauble. We finished all the cooking! From the stuffing! To the pudding! Now it's time to hang the star! Just, Just be careful, careful on your footing! Your We've done our shopping spree! Wrap the gifts under the tree! Now we can finally relax! <laughs> but you forgot about me! Great warm-up set, everybody. Only a thousand more to go. Ugh. Hey, Lippy. I'm really sorry about benching you yesterday. No hard feelings? Of course. You had to do what you had to do. It's all water under the bridge. All right, Shopkins. It's time for day two of the Shopville Games, hosted by the Fashion Boutique. Are you serious, Lippy? You're switching teams? Hey, you benched me. Why would Shady even pick you? I thought she'd ask Toasty. I'll have you know that she picked me straight away. Oh, please, Miss Diva, I need to find a new team. Pick me, pick me. Uh, what about you over there, the tall one? That's a tree. Ugh, fine. Come, quickly. Yes. There may have been some minor convincing required. Fine, go! We don't need you anyway. Calling all shop leads competing in today's event, the 100-meter catwalk. Uh -oh. whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not a model, Cheeky. I don't know what I'm doing. Just copy whatever Lippy does. Good luck. You're going to need it. Good luck. You're going to need it. Don't copy everything she does. On your marks, get set. And they rock, Lynn Spring with an early lead as they approach the first fashion interval. Oh no, an early upset as Lynn falls out of the race. Our remaining shop leads fast approaching the next interval. Sadie and Connie in a tangle. It's down to Lippy and Toasty as we approach the final leg. Lippy takes home the day. <laughs> Sorry, Cheeky, I tried my hardest. Oh, I can't wait to take these off. That's okay, Toasty. Why don't you 
take a seat over here. Thanks, Cheeky. Hey, you benched me. It's for the good of the team, Toasty. It's really starting to heat up here at the games, folks. The sports store leads the pack, followed by the fashion boutique, tech store, music store, and the small mart currently in last place. Wow, I would not like to be their team captain right now. <laughs> my betrayal face for when I run into Lippy. You know she's right over there. Hey, Lippy! Uh, yoo -hoo. Hey, no fraternizing with the competition. Come on, Cheeky. All this competitive talk is driving us apart. We're not even performing well because we're not working as a team. You're right. We've been losing because I've been too focused on you guys performing well rather than my own performance. Pretty sure that's not what I meant. If this team really wants a fighting chance at winning, then I have to step up and compete in all of the events by myself. That's the exact opposite of what I meant. Pull! Cheeky Chocolate takes home the gold for Team Small Mart! <sighs> Soccer. <laughs> Soccer? This is too easy. I'm totally going to beat you. Connie Console wins with a devastating 100 to nil victory in the soccer video game category. Now, for the long events. First off, the long jump. Long distance running. And finally, the long distance phone call. Oh, hey, Cheeky. I'm actually right here. Mussy, mussy. Lippy Lips wins for Team Fashion Boutique! The third day of the Shopville Games has come to a close. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. It's a dead heat between the Small Mart, Sports Store, and Fashion Boutique. This is tense, folks. It all comes down to the last event of the Games, the Shopville Relay. Who will win? No, honestly, that's not a rhetorical question. I literally have no idea. Who do you think's gonna win? Anybody? Hello? have chosen to combine their members, the Toy and Sports Store, the Fashion Boutique, Music Store, and Tech Tower. And competing for Team Small Mart is... It's just Cheeky Chocolate. Okay then, let's get this relay underway! On your marks, get set. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Nothing is more important than doing this relay together. That means the whole team. What a shake-up, folks. Apple Toasty and Lippy join Cheeky to form Team Small Mart, which leaves our other team one runner short. Microphone steps in to compete. 
Our shop leads try to focus on the race ahead. It's on your marks. Get set. And we're off! Lynn with an early lead, followed by Apple. Mike, Rafone, slipping to last place with a very poor start. Mike happily hands over the baton to Connie. Connie makes a move, closing in on Lowland Lippy. Sadie takes the lead as we approach the final baton exchange. It's neck and neck as Yolanda, Cheeky, and Max Sacks approach the final stretch. It's a tie between all three teams! <gasps> what an amazing end to the games! Check you later! Tonight on The Spatula. I love this show, but I'm getting tired. How long have we been watching for? Not that long. 20 minutes and uh, three weeks! I have missed so many shifts at the fashion boutique. I better call Shady and... Never mind. She fired me. I think I missed something, too. Uh, yep. Dentist. And I missed my flight. Yep, I was meant to go traveling with spilt milk. Okay, we have to get off this couch! <gasps> Hello? Mayor's office! Yes, I need to speak to Mayor Cookie. The mayor can't chat right now. She's in an extremely important meeting. meeting. We need her help. It's about the small marsh. <gasps> with me, Apple. Tell me exactly what happened. Well, we binge-watched the spatula, and now we have a massive power bill. If we can't pay within the month, they're going to shut off the power to the small mart. Chuck, how much do we have in the budget? We spent the last of our quarterly funds building the new chef club, buying TVs to watch the spatula on, and this clipboard. Chip, Give me your rundown of Chuck's analysis. We have no money. Okay, we need to brainstorm. The most important thing right now is not to get sidetracked. I'm hungry. We should get food. We should make cupcakes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. let's do yes. it. Of course. Nice idea. <sighs> Dig in, guys. Fresh from the oven. <laughs> Toasty, we're trying to save money. I don't want to have to buy my breakfast today. That's it! Why don't we bake food and sell it to raise money? The Shopville Fall Festival is coming up in a few weeks. That'll be a massive opportunity. Except for one small problem. Does anyone know how to actually cook? Treating. If we never learn to cook, we'll never save the small mart. And a bit of fun never hurt anyone, Apple. Come on, where's your Halloween spirit? You're not even in costume. 
you. I don't have time for costumes, Cheeky. Now hand me that bag of flour, please. Fine. Ah! <laughs> trick! But I never even said trick or treat. Eh, at least you've got a costume. Now you're a ghost. How did our samples go, Susie? Well, nobody really wanted to eat our treats, except for those scary bone-shaped biscuits. They loved those. Susie, those are Milk Bud's dog treats. Bleh. See, Apple, that's all the more reason to go trick-or-treating. We need to research what Shopkins actually like. Can I go too? <sighs> Fine, but can you at least help me clean up this mess before you... Nope, they've already left. <laughs> okay, I'm like totally freaked out right now. <laughs> I never get scared on Halloween. Boo! I'm a tree. Oh, Susie, <laughs> save me! You were saying, Cheeky? That was just a flinch. I'll go trick or treating anywhere in Shopville. Oh, yeah. What about that house? Uh, sure. Uh, I'm not scared. I guess nobody's home. Ah! Hi, I'm Fleur Flower, and you must be scared. Get me out of this. Why don't you chew your way out? Is that fairy floss? Sure is. Made it myself. Made it yourself, huh? Finally! How much candy did you bring back? No candy. But I've got something even better. Somebody to help us cook. Yes, something burning. I want to taste it, but that means you'll have to cut it and it won't be perfect anymore. Great job, Lippy. These cakes will sell like crazy at the fall festival. I couldn't have done it without your guidance, Fleur. No problem at all. I'm happy to be teaching you guys. Uh-oh, photos first. Then you can all try a piece. Whoa, whoa. Hey, guys. My cake is ready if you want to try it. Oh, yeah, we can we're wear fine. It. Oh. Ready? Fleur, I'm not learning as fast as the others. Do you think we could do a few extra lessons? Of course we can, Toasty. Do you want to make another cake? I would, but I used up the last of the eggs. Well, you have to get creative with the ingredients you've got. Let's use buttermilk instead of eggs. Are you ready to become a chef? if you help down in the kitchen more often. Hey, I'm just glad that my meal is dry for a change instead of being burnt to a crisp. You want your turkey to be a little less dry? No problem. Hey! You know what? I actually have too much food on my plate. I should probably share with everyone else. Stop! Do you even remember the reason we're doing this? 
I do, but I'd rather sit in the dark than be subjected to this gruel. I didn't mean literally. <laughs> Thanks, Frida. That'll be two dollars. Any chance I could get one of those, too? I'm really sorry about the other night. To be honest, I'm just jealous because you're a way better cook than I'll ever be. Thanks, Cheeky. We're getting closer to our goal, Gab! The cow has already been turned off, and I cannot apply makeup without adequate lighting. Oh, no! Spilt Milk gets back from her trip today. I forgot to tell her about the power. Hey, guys. I'm back. Hello? What happened to the lights? Is this the switch? <laughs> Relax, guys. Nothing can stop us now. Uh, except for that. <laughs> eh, it'll probably just be a light drizzle. I feel I spoke too soon! I have an idea! Follow me! as much flavored syrup as you can find. Hey, everybody! Get your ice-cold storm slushies right here. Hey, do you have cola? Can I get a raspberry flavor? It feels good to have power again, although we need to be careful about our consumption. Totally. We should probably go to bed. I guess one more episode won't hurt. Definitely. I could watch another. I want to see what happens next. We could even finish the season. Check you later. <laughs> 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 <laughs>